Ah, hello. Now, you just caught me checking a picture of Gray's Court. Do you know where that is? It's a National Trust property not far from Henley-on-Thames, and I hope to have a preview available for members on the 18th of November. And by the way, it has admittedly a rather tenuous connection with 007. I'm pleased to hear that you enjoyed Magic of Lakeland. That has encouraged me to do similar programmes on the Peak District and the Yorkshire Dales, maybe Snowdonia as well, but not until next year. Now, November, let's deal with that. That's going to have a strong musical theme. I hope to have ready my documentary about the English composer Rafe Vaughan Williams. You know the composer of Lark Ascending. This year is the 150th anniversary of his birth. So I better have it ready by the end of November. Also, on a more general musical level, do you know where the Sleepy Lagoon is? I'm sure you've heard of the melody by the Sleepy Lagoon by Eric Coates. It's used in the BBC Radio 4 programme Desert Island Disc, used as a signature tune, so you all know it. But where, where is the Sleepy Lagoon? And for those of you who live in the UK, it's not as far away from you as you might think. There'll be some technical stuff as well. I'm going to make available spot metering to subscribers and for members I'm going to raise a few eyebrows extolling the virtue of program on campus. And like with, dare I say, much of my work, I actually go beyond the planets. Yes, I will be doing that in November and of course there is a musical connection, isn't there? Anyway, I'm now going to get back to uh, great. Oh, I notice, I notice. Look, you may have noticed I have Radio 3 on. Uh, Don Giovanni, uh, a recording from the Royal Opera House Covent Garden. So, goodbye, go away. I'm going to listen to the music instead. Okay. <laughs>